Hooked up. The third thing, which is the most important, is the stroke. All strokes with everything are the same. You hit a home run with a bat the same way you bunt. You knock that golf ball the first time way down the green the same way you putt. You cut a tree down the same way you split kindling. You're using a stroke. What a stroke is, it starts long or short, and it starts slow or fast, and it smoothly goes faster and faster and stops in the direction you want it to go. So that if you wanted to bunt a ball, you would take the bat and you would start a short stroke that was very slow, and this all has to do with fly casting, and you would stop going down because you want the ball to go down here. Now you want to hit a home run. Your bat's back here. You start as fast as you can and you stroke smoothly up. There are no parts to a stroke other than you smoothly accelerate starting slow or fast and going short or long. But we teach in fly casting at the end of a cast to make a power stroke. That's what screws so much stuff up. The stroke goes very slow or fast and then smoothly accelerates and stops in the direction you want to go. So if you come forward and I'm going straight ahead and I power stroke, there's where I get all that garbage in my line. But had I come forward very smoothly, accelerating, and stopped, there's no stroke, and the line's here. Here's the difference between stroking a golf ball, a frisbee. If you're a frisbee, you want to go here, you throw there. If you want to make a long one, your body pivots, and you throw up, and you make a long, faster stroke. The problem is, when you stop that fly rod, the line is still attached to the tip of the rod. The golf ball, the baseball, the frisbee all left their hand or the rod. So now you have no control of it. It was a direction in which you stopped is what it did. But with a fly rod, if I make this cast, I'll make a short cast first. I'll put it back here so it goes just slow. I'm just, I don't want to make a long cast. I want to make a nice stroke. Just stop and stroke. Smooth there's no shock waves at all. I want to make a longer cast. I take, that rod started here. This cast is a short cast. I'm starting here, I'm going to go slow, and I want to go up, so I'm smoothly stop going up. There's the line. Now, I want to make a longer cast. I will pivot the body, but the rod's back here. I'm going to start faster, just smoothly accelerate faster, stop. Line goes out. There's no punching, no bending wrists, no nothing. Now I want to make a long cast. I start back here and I pivot here. I'm going to start as fast as I can and go as fast as I can smoothly to a stop. All the line's gone. <clears throat> this is not a muscle sport. It's making a smooth acceleration with the cast. I want this line to go back behind me. Uh, remember, I want, it's going to go in the direction I want to stop. So my tip goes back this way and I stop. There's no power here. I ain't got no power at 89. This is coming simply slow it, and there's the stroke. A stroke is nothing but smoothly going. Whether it's vertical, angled, or horizontal, or backwards, it starts slow or long. I mean, it starts fast or slow, goes short or long, depending on what you want to do, and smoothly stops. Don't pound on the rod. That's what's screwing the cast up. So how do we get rid of sag? The line goes in the direction you speed up and stop. So if you ever stop your rod down and back, you will have a down and back sag. But if you stop the rod while it's coming up, it will always be straight.